Democratic strategist Maria Cardona. She's in our Washington bureau. Maria, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Linda. Good to be here. Now, Trump has made disparaging comments about women in the past. His supporters say they like his blunt manner. Why do you think he continues to lead in the Republican field? Has he got some sort of political Teflon coating? Well, so far that's what we have seen, Linda, but we'll see if this continues because he certainly has gone, in, in my view, a, a bridge too far, but this isn't the first time. And what we've seen is that for him, the, the normal political gravity, political conventional wisdom has not applied to him. But I do think what you're now seeing is that, you know, people are, are starting to, to pull back the layers of the onion and that onion is kind of stinking. And I think what you're seeing is that his comments that are misogynistic, that in the past have also been anti-immigrant, anti-military, anti-woman, as you have underscored, are starting to really feel like this is not somebody who is presidential. This is not somebody who is showing the leadership qualities that we need in a commander in chief. He showed it at the debate. But I think what you're also seeing is a Republican Party who's kind of between a rock and a hard place because they don't want to seem as they're, they're going to kick him out. I think they're afraid of him. He said, in fact, at the debate that if he's not treated well by the Republican Party, he would think about running as an independent. Mm -hmm. And if he runs as an independent, you know, you can be sure that we will be welcoming a Madam President in 2017. So now, I think what, this is tough for the Republicans. Oh, and one of his uh, fellow presidential candidates, Carly Fiorina, weighed into the comments. She, she wrote on Twitter saying, Mr. Trump, there is no excuse, adding, I stand and with Megyn Kelly. She's the only female Republican. Uh, what do you make of her performance in the debate? And do you think she could use this women's issues to platform her own and, and push, I guess, ahead of the other fellow Republican candidates? Absolutely she can. And I am so glad that she came out with those comments against Mr. Trump and for Megyn Kelly. I think she was the standout performance uh, on, in the debates this week. It was a shame that she was relegated to what the the so-called kitty table of the debates uh but hopefully the the next time around because her performance was so strong she really showed leadership she showed command of the issues that she will have a seat on the stage of the main event i think she can use this to her advantage as being the only woman in a field of 16 other male candidates to focus on the importance of women's issues. And, and as we know very well, that in 2012, uh, President Obama won the women's vote by 11 points. There has been a huge problem with a gender gap uh, with the Republican Party. They have had many candidates in the past who have put foot in mouth on issues having to do with, with women and, and reproductive issues and health care. And frankly, this Trump comment is just one in a long list of problems that Republicans have had with women. And so I think that somebody like Carly could start to hopefully, for the Republicans at least, uh, put a better face for the Republican Party when it comes to women, and they need it desperately. And now, we know Trump got a call from Bill Clinton before he decided to run. What do you make of the conspiracy <laughs> theories that he's running to simply wreak havoc on the Republicans to help <laughs> the Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton? Well, I, as a Democrat, I, I would hope that Democrats were that smart, but <laughs> I can't say that, that they are. So I think all of that, we can chalk that up to conspiracy theory. But clearly, what is happening is I think that Donald Trump it is, he has struck a chord with the, the, what I call the underbelly of Republican conservative extreme voters that are angry, that uh, are resentful. But the problem with that, Linda, is that you can't win a presidential campaign on anger. You have to show optimism. You have to show positive qualities. You have to talk about what are you going to do in this country for everybody. And right now, Donald Trump, and frankly, this has been a problem, I think, for the Republican Party for a very long time, is that they're trying to appease the sort of old, white, man, angry uh, part of the Republican Party, when in fact the, the constituencies that are growing this, in this country are minorities, Latinos, young uh, people, women, and so you have to find a way as a party, if you want a future at any point to get to the White House, you have to find a way to broaden that tent. And that is what the huge challenge for the Republican Party is today.
Okay, Maria Cardona, as always, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Now, Typhoon Sudala has moved over southern China, but the storm's already caused significant damage.